Social media has been interesting this week and it's taken centre stage and off the press. Uh, West Ham fans on social media all summer have been uh, quite something from insulting Declan Rice's girlfriend and making snithy comments about her to beefing with the fans of an Arabian football team. It's been going off and there's bad, there's good. I was even targeted by these Arabian fans and I'm going to put what they said to me in this video. If you want to find out what the Al Hilal fans had to say about me, um, well, you can keep on watching. But I got to warn you, it's not very nice. In this week's edition of Off The Press, social media is going to be taking centre stage. It features on two of the three topics. I'm going to be talking about the reaction to Mateus Pereira potentially going to Saudi Arabia and how the West Ham fans responded and how the Arabian football fans responded to being called a small club. Uh, also, I'm going to be talking about Manuel Lanzini embracing his new role in pre-season and how he feels about it. And I'm also going to just give a friendly reminder to watch what you say online. Because for those of you who thought that it was a good idea to mock, disrespect and even insult Declan Rice's girlfriend, she's responded on Monday and um, don't think that she didn't take notice about what you said. Just a little bit of a reminder, watch what you say and um, just don't. Just don't be rude online. If you want to say it in person, why say it online? But first of all, I'm going to be talking about the most recent news on social media. It doesn't really specifically talk about the Mateus Pereira transfer rumour. It actually talks about something that's a little bit more than the transfer rumour, i.e. the Twitter war between West Ham and Al-Hilal. I'll try and explain this in the best way I know how. If you're a West Ham fan, you'll know that the club is linked with a move for West Bromwich Albion's Brazilian midfielder, Mateus Pereira. And talks are believed to be ongoing for this player. But there was also a possibility that he could move to Saudi Arabia to join Al-Hilal, where he would be earning a lot of money, to put that bluntly. He'd be earning a massive weekly wage. Um, but there is a drawback to this. Because do you choose to go to Saudi Arabia and earn a lot of money and play in a smaller unknown league, in smaller stadiums with a smaller fan base, or play in Premier League in one of the best leagues in the world and play in European football next season? So that's a decision Pereira's got to make. West Ham fans heard about the Al-Hilal rumours and initially responded by saying that Pereira was going to be a bit greedy by going over there if he's going just for the cash. Um, West Ham fans soon started to call Al-Hilal a small club, saying that they weren't as big as West Ham. And the Al-Hilal fans didn't take too kindly to this, even going as far to respond to people who dared to criticise them. And I'm going to be honest, I was one of those people. What they said to me actually wasn't very nice and I'm going to show some of them on the screen right now. Some of these tweets are just um, things you wouldn't even say in person and just damn well rude. There's a difference between, um, you know, fighting back and just being offensive. This is kind of borderline offensive, really. I'm going to give you a few seconds to look over all of these tweets. Notably, my mum is targeted in some of these. I had a fan saying that he was going to screw my mum. Uh, he was going to, you know, go over to my mum and do her because he called her up. Uh, other people tweet me in Arabic and I had to translate it. Other people saying that West Ham are well, relegation fodder. And other fans who were just saying that West Ham can't win anything. Saying that West Ham can't win anything and West Ham are a tin pot club. Uh, I've heard that actually before. It doesn't really bother me. But saying things about my mum is what really um, pushed me over the edge a bit. I think it was out of context. I wasn't expecting it. And it's a bit childish really. You know what I'm saying? That's a bit childish. You know, it's like something to do in school, going, oh, your mum's fat, or, oh, your mum's stupid. 
Like, jeez, if you're going to actually diss me or insult me, at least come up with something a little bit more original than that, mate. I mean, I've loads of other West Ham fan accounts and West Ham, you know, fans on Twitter in general got this kind of stuff. And it was actually in really quick succession. Like, they would have tweeted, oh, Al-Hilal is a small club. And within maybe an hour... About 10 fans from Al-Hilal would tweet saying, West Ham couldn't beat Al-Hilal. I'd like to see West Ham go to Al-Hilal and beat them. West Ham probably could do that. It took away from the point that West Ham fans are making, saying that Pereira shouldn't go to Arabia, because, uh, one, it would be money motivated, and two, why go there when you can play in the Europa League instead? That was the point that was initially being made, And it ended up being converted into something completely different. Ended up resulting in a Twitter beef between two fan bases. And it's not the first time, it won't be the last time that ever happens in football in general. But, um, whether Matthias Pereira goes to Arabia or stays in England, I don't know. It remains to be seen. I know he's made a statement saying that he wants to leave West Brom. But the thing is, Al-Hilal can't afford him. Not only just sign him, but I don't think they'll be able to afford his wages and they would be, quote, astronomical. So, the Pereira news is actually going to be probably a wheel and deal video. It's not going to come up in this video, but it's just, I don't get it. Like, why some fans feel the need just to be rude like that. And some of those tweets were rude. But some of it was banter that ended up with the Arabian fans crossing the line a bit. And that's where you stop. So, yeah. Quite eventful over the last few days. I've struggled to find the words to sum it up. Even I was targeted. And uh, stuff about my mum wasn't very nice. And can't believe they said it really. But here's what it is. Uh, I forgive, I forget, I move on. Manuel Lanzini is set to stay at West Ham this season. Having previously been linked with move back to Argentina and even a move to Turkey, looks like he's staying at West Ham. I have said in previous videos, David Moyes is really good at remodeling players into different roles and then getting the best out of them. Lanzini is the most recent case of this. Lanzini is playing in a holding midfielder role. I've noticed a lot in pre-season. He played that role against Celtic and did so against Brentford. He says that he likes it because it means that he can touch the ball more and pass it more. As opposed to playing attacking midfielder where he's having to run um, laterally to the ball or running to latch onto the ball um, to um, increase an attack. So Lanzini is now um, sitting back a bit more and he's passing it and working with uh, more players as a result. He's liking it and he looks a lot more comfortable in the role. Um, ever since Lanzini got injured three years ago, it's been a struggle for him to be consistent. He hasn't had the same flair and power that he had before the injury. But the holding midfielder role is something that I think now suits his standard of playing because he's a player that likes to get the ball a lot. Having him as a holding midfielder allows him to touch the ball more, allows him to move the ball more, pass it, um, do long balls a lot more and uh, play from the back. Um, Yeah, I think he's really improved this season. He loves playing for West Ham as well. Lanzini loves the club. He's really passionate and wants to be at West Ham, so... David Moyes is making the right decision there by keeping him on. It seems like this holding midfielder role is benefiting Lanzini and I hope that he can be successful with it. I can't really understand why people were tearing into Declan Rice's girlfriend on social media. Um, He uploaded a picture of himself and his girlfriend on holiday in Ibiza and some people decided to just disrespect her. Make really hurtful, nasty comments about her, thinking that she wouldn't take notice. Um, Declan and Lauren probably did take notice of those comments, and she has bitten back. Not to every single comment, because she's better than that, but she has put on her story on social media, if you can't be kind, be quiet. And again, goes back to what they said in Bambi, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And uh, I don't know what Declan Rice has done to deserve that. He's been with the same girlfriend since he was 14 years old. And they've got a long-term relationship. So, 
why are people... I don't know why people are ripping into her. Like, what? She's done absolutely nothing wrong. If anything, the only thing she can be is proud of him. To be a captain of his club and to have played for his country at Euro 2020, a tournament in which he was a uh, runner-up. So why are people tearing into his girlfriend for? Like, come on, people. It's, it's not cool, okay? It's just absolutely uncalled for and stupid. Like, if the player's done badly or done something wrong, then fair enough, you can target him, but don't target his family. Don't target his girlfriend. It's just, just stupid. It's pointless. And like I say, I don't know why it's even justified or even why people are tearing his girlfriend to bits. What's she done wrong? Exactly. Can someone actually fill me in on this? Because what has she done wrong to, or even to deserve it? And make nasty comments towards her. It's just absolutely... It, it's just, just wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? It's wrong. Full stop. He doesn't deserve it. She doesn't deserve it. She especially doesn't deserve it because she's not the one who'd be making mistakes on the football pitch anyway. It'd be Declan that would get the criticism if he were to play badly in a game. And some people are just very nasty and just either want attention or just want to cause problems and stir the pot. Just, just leave it out. Thank you very much for watching Off The Press. If you liked the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Let me know what you think about these topics in the comments. What do you think about the Al Hilal fans attacking West Ham fans on Twitter? Was it banter to them? Did they interpret it as banter? Did they see it as offensive? Could they just not handle the fact that they're a small club? Ooh. Anyway, um, what do you think of Manuel Lanzini playing in his new role? And do you think that Declan Rice's girlfriend was harshly treated? Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you all soon.